people have a fog when that first grief comes over them and that could be anywhere from two to four to six weeks and they're kind of moving around in this fog and we see that frequently and then the grief lifts and they can see but when that grief lifts their family members have gone back to their homes if they live far away people that were around when the funeral was of those first few weeks after the death, they've gone back to work, work. And so this person is now left alone with their grief. When they go home into their empty bed at night, they're alone with their grief. Sometimes people don't even realize that they're experiencing grief. So labeling it and recognizing it that, yeah, you're experiencing grief now. There's some losses that are happening right now, and that's OK. Let's talk about them. So putting a name to it and then finding a way to express it, whether it's through journaling or art or anything else. Think about those expectations that you're putting on yourself and society's expectations that are being put upon you and get rid of them. Let go of them. Do it your own way. You don't have your three days of bereavement leave and then go back to work and think that you're still not grieving. It takes a long time and everyone's timeline is different. If you need to take a day off of work and shut yourself up in bed, do it. But if you're still in bed three or four weeks later, then we need to talk about that. That's not quite right. Lots of times we hear ourselves saying to people, you did what you thought best at the time with the information that you had. That is something that we say frequently. And that is really the truth, that people do their best in the time when they're caregiving and they're doing it with the information they have, what feels right, what their loved one wanted, what they thought everybody else wanted. They're making the best decision that they can in the moment with all the information that they have. People find ways to have relationships with their loved ones after they die, where they still have a meaningful place in their heart. Some people do that through their loved one's legacy, they're keeping on that legacy, and some people are just having that conversation with their loved one while they're driving home from work. And it works for them. And so they can say what they wanted to say, I wish I told you I loved you every single day, I'm going to tell you now. And, and that works for them. Grief is normal. It's necessary. It's a natural reaction to loss and it's in a unique experience on its own timeline. Mm -hmm.